Hi, it's Miss Magda from the Bordeaux Branch Library. And uh, I know that there are some horror fans out there, y'all. Whether you identify as being a goth, emo, or just a connoisseur of bad horror movies, I have a spooky story for you. Molly O'Malley was going to have a baby, and her midwife Geneva was the only one there to keep her company because, you see, her husband Brian had to go miles away for a job. It can't help that when the time comes, it comes. And after hours of pain, Geneva finally caught a happy, healthy baby boy. The old woman cleaned them both up, tucked them into bed, Molly was exhausted, but she couldn't take her eyes off this beautiful child. <laughs> she was so enchanted, she didn't even hear Geneva leave. Molly, she played with the baby, cooing at him, tickling his feet. She fed him and watched him sleep and then woke him up all over again so she could do it all again. <sighs> she did that for days on end. It was the most amazing thing she had ever seen. And then she realized how thirsty and tired she really was. I mean, having a baby, y'all, is hard work. Whew. So carefully, she got out of bed as she lay the sleeping baby in his crib. She crept out the door, taking the bucket out to the creek to get a bit of water. She filled up the bucket and immediately dropped it because she heard the worst sound she had ever heard in her entire life. The scream filled the air like fingernails on a chalkboard. It reverberated up and down her spine, hitting that spot just at the back of her neck that she just couldn't reach. And she rushed back in the house just full of bad mother guilt. Oh, I shouldn't have left him. Oh, my little boy, I'm a terrible mother. He's never going to love me. She rushed over to the crib and she picked up the babe. She began to rock him back and forth, back and forth. And he kept crying and she tried feeding him and he kept crying. And she bounced him in the air and he kept crying. And he just cried and cried and cried, reaching pitches that would break glass. Finally, the midwife Geneva returned to check on the new mother and the baby. She saw those dark circles underneath Molly's eyes, and she heard the weariness in her voice as she tried to sing the baby to sleep again. Dear child, let me take the babe. What did you name him? Oh, I haven't had him baptized yet. Uh, I was waiting until my husband got back. Not baptized and not named. That won't be good. Give him here. I bet you haven't slept a week since I saw you last. Are, are you sure? I mean, I, I hate for you to go through any trouble. I mean, okay, here he is. I'm just going to put in there if you need anything. And she was asleep before her head hit the pillow. Geneva took the baby. She began to rock him back and forth singing a lullaby and soon his breathing became even and she laid him down in his crib and she figured she'd wait until molly had a nice nap and then she'd head home before dark suddenly she heard a noise from the crib when she turned she saw a small hand rise up and grasp the railing firmly and then another small hand joined it. The baby stood up and looked at her. He said, That was a really lovely song. Do you know any others? Geneva was so startled that she almost fell down. But she answered, in a very calm voice. Yes, I know a few more, but you have to lie down before I sing another note. 
the baby nodded and then lay back down in the crib. Geneva began to hum under her breath, bringing the melody louder as she walked over to the fire. As her song rose, she got the embers nice and hot. And then with a leap over to the crib, she grabbed the baby by one foot. Molly heard the commotion, came running to see what Geneva was doing and saw her holding her child over the fire. What are you doing? That's my baby. Don't hurt him. This is not your child. It's a fairy changeling. A plenta cow. Look at him. Look at him. It. And Molly looked at the thing in Geneva's hand. It was basically the size and shape of an infant, but grayish yellow skin and pointy ears. And then it had the audacity to wink at her. She almost fainted from fright. And as she watched, Geneva let go of the changeling's foot but before he could touch the flames below he shot up the chimney and before molly could mourn after her child geneva told her to go out and check by the creek because the fae always have to give something back and there next to her dropped bucket was her own baby wrapped in the nicest woven christening blanket you've ever seen. Suffice to say, Molly went to the priest first thing the next morning, and she named the baby Christopher Nathaniel. But when Brian returned, he got his own turn in naming the baby. And that, my friends, is the story of how Kit O'Malley came into the world. So, did your heart go a little bit faster? Did your breath shorten just a little bit? Is your adrenaline racing? That's exactly the thrill I was looking for. So go relish that. Relish it and appreciate how boring your life can really be because you never know what might happen when the dark comes and the fairies come out to play. <laughs> it's Miss Magda from the Border Branch Library. And I hope you'll enjoy this fantastic fandom fest we've got going on for you. Hope you get a nice scare out of it. See you next time. <laughs>